Full three, two, one. Well, your world is full of strange arrangements. Arrangements. And gravity won't gravity. pull you through. Gravity won't pull you through at all. You know you're missing Absolutely. out on something. You're missing out on a lot. Well, that something depends it's on you. It depends on lots of other people. All I'm saying, it takes a lot to love you. All I'm doing, you know it's true. All I mean now, there's one thing, yes, one thing that turns this. Grey sky to blue That's the look, that's the look The look of love That's the look, that's the look The look of love That's the look, that's the look The look of love When your girl has let you out on the pavement Goodbye Then your dreams fall apart at the seams your reason for living's your reason for leaving Don't ask me what it means Who's got the look? I don't know the answer to that question Where's the look? If I knew I would tell you What's the look? Look for your information Yes, there's one thing, the one thing that still holds true What's that? That's the look, that's the look The look of love That's the look that's the look, the look of love. That's the look, that's the look, the look of love. Bum bum bum. Ah. Bum bum bum. Have you got your heart? I didn't know you could play harp. A little bit of plucking. Bum bum bum. Bum bum bum. It's an air guitar. Oh, is it an air guitar? No, an air harp. Oh, okay, here we go. Ready? Three, two, one. That's the look, that's the look. The look of love, that's the look, that's the look. The look of love, that's the look, that's the look. The look of love. If you judge a book by the cover, then you judge a look by the lover. I hope you'll soon recover. Me, I go from one extreme to another. And though my friends just might ask me, they say, Pete, maybe one day you'll find true love. I say, maybe. There must be a solution to the one thing, the one thing we can't find. That's the look, that's the look. Sisters and brothers, that's the look, should help each other. <laughs> that's the look. Ooh, 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 ooh. That's the look. That's the look. Heavens above. That's the look. That's the look. Hip hip hooray. That's the look. That's the look. Yippee I yippee I That's the look. That's the look. Be lucky in love. Look of love. Oh well, well that was that was that was an that explosive was mashing. That was that was an explosive. Well, I reckon uh, that was better. start to oh. the show this evening. I reckon that was better than ABC. I, I reckon, yeah, I think um, maybe we should call ourselves 123. Or XYZ. Or XYZ. Or XYZ. even CBA. CBA. <laughs> can't, can't be, be asked. asked. Absolutely. Can't yeah. be asked. Anyway, um, we're back again, annoying people with the truth. Because a lot of people dislike the truth. Absolutely, of course. And how are you, Peter, today? Are you well? I'm okay, actually. Yeah, I'm okay. Good, yeah. good, good. I'm not up and I'm not down. So you're you're in the middle. I'm in the middle. Best place to be. Best place My to be. My homeostatic right in the levels are reasonably balanced. Yeah. I would now say. I find that a lot of people tend to overlook homeostasis. Yeah, because that that kind of links in with karma, doesn't it? It kind of links in with calm. an awful lot of stuff. You Absolutely. Know, I mean, uh, <clears throat> to be able to judge or to ascertain whether someone is <clears throat> normal. Or Judge a book by its cover. Judge a book by its cover. And that is, you really, yippee really, I, yippee I, really yeah, people yeah. should be testing their homeostatic levels. Yeah, but you can't go into uh, a doctor's. Yeah, and a doctor's. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, come in and, and test your homeostatic levels with our new Fandango yes. machine. Absolutely, of course. See if you're okay today. How are you feeling today? Well, if you don't know, come and check out our new 
homeostatic um homeostachometer Ho- homeostachometer yeah why get yourself wired up to this machine and it can tell you whether you're feeling rough you're feeling up you're feeling low mm. you're feeling down or you're feeling like or you're shit. feeling across absolutely or it's course. gravity getting you down absolutely or is gravity is is gravity getting you down? down well if it is just uh, come to the doctors and we'll plug you into our homeostatic meter yeah but surely people should know themselves if they knew themselves they'd know whether they're up down left right up, down left right absolutely of course or yeah whatever but uh, there you go it's um because i'm absolutely positive talking about it i'm absolutely oh positive yeah 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 that one of the reasons why they called it gravity yeah yeah because gravity what, is, it, what, is a word it's what only the word, word what the words come from that gravitas um, grave, 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 gravely. Oh, oh it's a grave, grave. concern. Oh, and sorry. Pe- um, people normally I'm ever get sorry, Miss. Uh, I'm uh, sorry. I'm ever so sorry, Mrs. Uh, Mrs. Coldrick. Mrs. McGee. M- Coldrick. M- I'm ever so sorry, Mrs. Coldrick. Mrs. Daniels. Y- your husband. He's got cancer. Oh. It's a very grave situation. It is a very grave situation. We're we're doing all we can. We're monitoring him round the clock. At our Booper Health Centre. Absolutely, of course. Yeah. But, I mean, at the end of the day, the guy's just got decay. Absolutely. Yeah. he's getting old or he's whatever, you know what I mean? Dying. Well, he's dying, yeah, absolutely, yeah. yeah. But it's it's just, you know, it's 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 all it's all about perception, isn't absolutely. it? Absolutely. And in this video... See, why couldn't, <clears> they have <throat> called, why couldn't they have called gravity something positive? Well, they could call it gravitas, gravitup. No, no, no. Gravitup. No, not Well, it should be gravity. Gravi- de- well, gravity. you see, when you think about it, gravity is a very negative word. Absolutely, Because yeah. gravity, they always say gravity pulls things down. Yeah. And whenever you hear the word, oh, how you feel? Oh, I'm feeling down, down today. today. Oh, maybe you're suffering from gravity. Absolutely, yeah. Maybe it's maybe it's the weight on your shoulders, you know, from gravity. Gravity, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's all, all of that kind of like gra- gravitational pull. You know, it's getting you down, you know. But when you think about it, I suppose it relates to... Um, do you remember that song, uh, Oh, Life She Cries by... Um, oh, uh, Alan Parsons. Alan Parsons, yeah, great song. Yeah, lovely song, I like that. And um, in that's, there, that's what, if I was though the says, spirit if... longs to soar. And everyone associates the spirit or the soul with being up there in heaven, being oh, right, up, yeah. Yeah. you know, being up high. Whereas a lot... and. The, a lot of people um, associate the the devil and all this kind of the badness, negative, being down there. Being down there. Yeah. So when you look at the earth, and you look at kind of like the well, the structure of the earth, you know, from mm. bottom up, you know, from what you can Im- imagine, as it were, you've got all the weighty stuff at the bottom, yeah, and all the lighter stuff, the stuff that's just pure energy, metaphysical, metaphysical, right on the top, you yeah, know, absolutely, yeah, and it's you know it. It does give you an idea on kind of like how um, people are, how the human experience is like. Absolutely, what the exper- yeah. human yeah. experience is like. Do you want to be up? Spiritual experience. Do you want to be up or do you want to be down? Do you want to be up or do you want to be down? Do you want to be left or do you want to be, be right? Yeah. Do you want to be half half empty or half full? Or half full. Absolutely. But, um, and half empty. It's, it's all a matter of perception. Absolutely. Do you perceive a globe earth? Do you perceive a flat earth? <clears throat> is that a man or is it a woman? Uh, do you perceive honourable MPs or do you uh, perceive dishonourable uh, dishonourable MPs? Um, do you um, are, are, are the t- TV programmes wholesome and informative and good, or are they crap? Do the newspapers? Can you read any good news in newspapers, or can you read bad news? Absolutely, yeah, of course, yeah. Because I'm sure even if you read a newspaper, there would be some good news in it somewhere. Do you know what I mean? No, but some people might think, oh, look, uh, North Korea, uh, b- b- missile strike. B- b-. Yeah, some yeah. people might enjoy reading that. Absolutely, That's of course. good news, yeah, it's about time they got. Oh, absolutely, yeah, of course, yeah. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, it all, depends on, it all depends on your perception. Per- perception, yeah. And you begin to realise that um, it's all about perception, isn't it? Absolutely. Absolutely. But the, the best thing to do with life, and that is to not to go beyond what we are aware of the unimaginable the unimaginable don't 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 go into conjecture don't go into belief don't go into all of this nonsense and rubbish you know if the earth if the earth is 
If they say the earth is round and it's true that the earth is round, will show us some bloody evidence that it is actually round. Oh, if it's right, not yeah. round, then you ought to be saying, well, we think it's round. It's a possibility oh, right. Oh, right, yeah. that the earth my, is spherical. My equatorial mount is real evidence oh, yeah, yeah. that the earth is a globe. Really? What, just so your equatorial my mount? My equatorial mount on my telescope. It proves beyond any question that, that the earth yeah. is, that the earth is a globe. Yeah. Oh, right, OK. Yeah. Well, well, it's a bit like Full Court's pendulum, though, isn't it? It's yeah, no. just a device, just the same. It doesn't it? prove anything. But it doesn't prove anything other than what you observe so, yeah, in, on the, on the one, in what it does. Yeah, absolutely. You know, people, How can you extrapolate? that effect to the bigger picture. To, you can't. You can't. You can't do it. It's nonsensical it's to, do to do that. that yeah. It just goes to show a lot of people are fucked up. So, absolutely. And, you know, the, yeah, a lot of people and are fucked up. And with this talk through, we can... And we're, yeah, we're, this one is going to be slightly different because we're, we're going to kind of like relax <clears throat> from the flat earth. And we're actually going to talk about something that's a bit more um, relevant to people's lives. To everybody's life. To everybody's life, yeah. rather than going into all of this conjectural kind of slight stuff like how do the, how do the stars work? What's the moon made of? And, you know, what causes the, the tides? And is there an infinite plane beyond the, beyond um, uh, Antarctica? Beyond Antarctica. Or, sorry, yes. Yeah, and some people think that there's lands beyond Antarctica, don't they? That's, that's, right, that's yeah. Sorry, that's the one. That's the one. It's all conjecture because one of the things you think you've got to think to yourself, well, if people think that there's lands beyond Antarctica, because Admiral Byrd says so, you know, ho, 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 ho. Oh, well, yeah. where's the, the sunlight coming from? There must be other suns there. Absolutely. And yet you'd see them. Yeah, I know. Yeah, you'd have. Uh... You'd see them, you know. I mean, you know, let you know. Let's. Well, it's possible. I mean, it's possible. It's, it's possible. possible. But, you know, let's go on what we know. For sure, and that is everyone can agree there's a sun in the sky. And the earth is flat. Well, absolutely, from their senses and their experiences of absolutely. life and people as well. But um, so, <clears throat> yeah, this because video one, is slightly one, one, different. One of the things with, with flat earth. And yeah, the, yeah. And the, the idea of the dome. The dome. And that man isn't going anywhere. Man isn't going, going anywhere, baby. That means... We're the centre of the universe. Each one of us. We're not insignificant. Absolutely. We ain't going anywhere. So we have to start looking at, at our, ourselves. At ourselves, ourselves, essentially. I mean, what now it, is that? Is that a, a good look, or is that an ugly look? Well, I don't know. I mean, I'm That's not. All I'm down not, to your perception. It's all down it? to your perception. But what? Because oh, we we were looking out. You you look out the window and yeah. you think this is the Garden of Eden. Um, well, it depends on your perception, though, doesn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Because some people could look at it as being a hell. I know, no, but if you've got a, a good, a positive perception, yeah. you'll look at life around you. you yeah. Think, this is the Garden of Eden. Yeah. Anyway. But the point is, essentially, and that is, uh, you and I try very hard not to get in, get ourselves into conjectural stuff because it's not worth it. It's absolutely. frivolous. It's meaningless. Why talk about things you can't conclusively prove? Proof. Absolutely. It's just rubbish to Absolutely, even, yeah. even um, invite it in or anything. But uh, but anyway, but to, tonight, just to give uh, people an idea on what we mean by it's all about your perception on things, what we're going to talk about tonight is love. Absolutely. Um, because love is the most important aspect to all human beings. Um, because... Because everybody has a desire, an innate desire within them to love and to have that to love. To express it and to have, to have that returned. love returned. Everybody. It's, it's part of being human. It's just like having two legs or it's just like having, um, uh, we, that you're breathing air to, to, you know, you breathe in air to live, to sustain your life. Oh. <sighs> but we also have the, this ability to love, to express love and have that love returned. Absolutely. Absolutely. And essentially, um, problems only arise when people suffer from unrequited love, mm. where love that is expressed, is yearning to be expressed, cannot be, be returned. returned. And that's when you get problems. Well, in there, but in some ways you can't express it, can you? 
But you can't express it. But you've got it inside. inside you. It's inside, and it can't go. You can't channel it anywhere. Yeah, because you're it's you're, trapped you're, within you. Your fundamental uh, me- mechanics, mechanisms of yeah, yeah. operating as a human being. Yeah, yeah. is that you you want to love. Absolutely, you want to love. You want to be you happy. Want to, you want to, to, to love be you alive. Want to give love and have absolutely. Because I I firmly think a lot of these globe heads um, are unhappy. A lot of them, yeah. and a lot of them don't want to wake up and realise the truth about their own lives, and the truth about love. But we've got this page up on Wikipedia about love, and there you go. Um, here we go. Love is a variety of different emotional and mental states, yeah. typically strongly and positively experienced, that ranges from deepest interpersonal affection to simple pleasure. pleasure. Simple pleasure. Yeah. An example. Well, a wank. You can have a wank, can you? Oh, it's right. a simple pleasure. Oh, right. Oh, right. Yeah. I love oh, that. Oh, yeah. I love the wank I just yeah. had, yeah. An example of this range of meanings is that the love of a mother differs from the love of a spouse, differs from the love of food. Most commonly, love refers to an emotion of a strong attac- attraction and personal attachment. Love can also be a virtue, representing human kindness, compassion. Oh and affection. Oh. It may also describe compassionate and affectionate actions towards other humans, oneself oh. or animals. Oh look oh look that that can you see the way that girl's stroking her dog? Do you oh, reckon she, she loves the oh, dog? She must love the, the dog. dog. Yeah. And blah, the diverse blah, blah. Di- the di- this diversity of uses and mm. meanings combined with the complexity of the feelings involved makes love unusually 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 difficult to consistently define compared to other emotional, emotional states. states but so what they're saying basically is there is they haven't a fucking clue, clue what, what love, love is, is basically they haven't a clue or they don't or want to they don't want to tell people, people what it actually what, is. what, love, what love actually, actually is. is you know because we everybody knows what a square is don't they Absolutely. Two dimensional shape with four equal sides and four equal angles. Yeah. Everyone will agree with that. Absolutely. That is a square. Absolutely. So because certain things it's this is one thing you've got to look at, and that is a lot of things in society are definable. So everyone knows what everyone sings from the same song sheet. Well, in case it goes to a court of law. Absolutely, of course. Whereas there's an awful lot that's in society that is ill defined. God so, is one. Absolutely, love yeah. is another absolutely and the worst things about it all and that is as soon as you get words that are ill-defined they are subject to abuse absolutely like i love my bar of chocolate like i love well of course i love you what well, you know we, we've been married for like 40 years well of course i love you like oh okay look i know i had an affair with the bloke uh, next door, the to, or the woman, or whoever. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just oh, talking right. doesn't generally. Yeah. Doesn't matter. And you know, I know I, I had an affair. You know, but, but I still love you. But I still love you. Oh, right, yeah, the barge, the the SpaceX barge. SpaceX barge. Of course, the of SpaceX. Of course, I still love. Of course, you. I still love you. What a name! Even though you've, even though you've you've gone yeah. and shagged ten other blokes, you know, I don't care. Of course I still yeah. love you. Of course I still love you, even it's though stupid, you called my mum a fucking bitch. It's even these globe trotters. Well, of course I still love you, even though you, you don't lift a finger in the house. Well, of course I still love you, even though you you hardly ever talk to me. Well, of course I still love you, even though you've got, you wear smelly tights and skirts and horrible clothes and stuff. Yeah, I know. Well, of course I still love you, even yeah, though even you call if, me an arsehole and you put me down all the time and all this kind of stuff. Well, of course I still love you. It's even, all bollocks. Yeah, because even, that, even globetrotters can't... They can't... In, why put a name a barge that the SpaceX rocket lands on? Why name it, of course, of course I still love you? Don't <clears> these globetrotters think that there's something... In that, there, there's some, well, there's there's a message, there's a meaning, there's a reason why oh, it's it, called yeah. that. I mean, why why can it have been called like SpaceX barge, Sp- SpaceX landing X- landing barge, landing uh, SpaceX, but yeah, absolutely SpaceX SpaceX barge one, yeah, you know, or how about barge? You could just call it barge, yeah. couldn't you? But of course, I still love you. 
I mean, it's, it's, it's absolute bollocks. rubbish. Absolutely anyway, rubbish. So what we're going to try and do... <laughs> so we now realise that love is... is The word love is is a very confused term. So what we're going to so try and do... if it's confused, if it's a confused term and it's ill-defined, it goes to show that the people who use the word love a are lot confused, of them are confused, confused themselves. Oh. This is why you and I speak of true love rather than love love because love in our understanding you can have um in in the globe society you've got a sense of false love people have a sense of false love mm. in the globe society whereas i reckon that if people were more in tune with their feelings and themselves as human beings their brains were connected to their and hearts. their brains were connected to their hearts and they were acting as one they would be thinking more of true love, love real love real love yeah. real love real love yeah not not this bullshit bollock fucking um, disposable love disposable love that you, people can um just People could easily just say, "Yeah, I love you," it's, it's, it's and then like, ditch uh, it. Katie uh, Price. Six years later, only to love somebody else. It's, it's, it's been crazy. Like, it's been like Katie Price. Oh you no, know, she's saying to Peter Andre, "Of course I love you." She's saying to uh, Dwight York, "Of course I love you." Well, it's well, it's she's like saying to whoever, however many other absolutely, blokes, absolutely, with, of course I love you, absolutely. I was I was thinking about uh, Debbie McGee and Paul Daniels, and I was thinking, yeah. Because uh, one thing we missed out last time was that, you know, when she's living with him, when he was alive, she's probably saying, oh, Paul, I love you, Paul. I I'll never, f there'll never be anybody else but you. you. And then he dies. And then she starts saying to everyone, yeah, oh, well, Paul wouldn't have wanted me to have been on no. my own. Yeah. No, no, it's yeah, it's people use. Pe people use and abuse. People, people are so selfish. That they're so full of shit. Well, yeah, basically. A lot of people are just filled with yeah, shit absolutely. at the end of the day. And they've only got themselves to blame for being unhappy. Absolutely. Because people should be true to themselves, true to others, all of the time, irrespective of the yeah, consequences absolutely. as anyway, well. Anyway. Anyway. So uh, ancient Greek philosophers identified four forms of love. Fami familial love, friendly love, romantic love, and divine love. Non-Western traditions have also distinguished variances yeah. or symbioses of these states. Love has additional religious or spiritual meaning. Absolutely. So, so what we're uh, going to try and do now... What are we going to try and do now? Is we're going to try and look for love. Well, you see, the thing, it's all about your perception. No, the look of love we're going to try and... Absolutely, yeah. It's all about your perceptions. Perception. Because your perceptions are skewed by the society you live in. in absolutely because there's so much bullshit out there that a lot of people can't connect their head with their brains with their hearts oh, absolutely well if you're if that you're, connection's gone i mean i've been there i'll hold my hands up you know i've you been know, there if you're, if you're very naive if you're on the beach for example yeah and you see the stars rotating yeah they yeah. you you could think if you're a globe trial, you could think that the earth's rotating absolutely because you, the yeah, because your your whole perception, the way you look at th things, has been changed absolutely with, only by the information that you've been given from other people. From other people, and you know, I mean, that's absolutely wrong to to accept. But now, when we look at love, I, you, and I both have the understanding that love underpins more or less real love, true love underpins. All of human All actions. Of human actions. Absolutely. Because people do everything out of love. People do everything out of love. Of, absolutely. Um, now. <sighs> even the most vilest of actions. Absolutely, yeah. They do it all out of love. Because you and me have come to the conclusion. Oh, yeah, yeah. That a lot of people despair for that love. Absolutely. It's for that real love. They it's despair because for it. They and are that is seen in their negative behaviours. Yeah. Which is unrequited love. Absolutely. All of human problems are all down to unrequited love at some point. point. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah. So if you're treated badly by your parents, it's because of unrequited love. love. Because your parents cannot love you in the way 
they ought to true. do. Absolutely. They cannot give you true love, love. a sense of true, true love. love. They cannot allow you to, they don't allow you to build and nurture sure. within yourself yeah. that sense of true love. Absolutely. They give you a sense of false love. Well, it's like if you were, if you were, you know, uh, the globe society's well, if, love. If you were, if you were, say, David Beckham's son, for example. Oh, yeah. You know, and then you look at um, Ian Brady, for example, mm. and what he was like with his parents. Yeah. David Beckham's son or his children are going to have a much better life ahead of them. Ahead of them, yeah. Than Ian Brady did. Than Ian Brady, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Pa parents do affect the way their children um, end up in, absolutely. in life. Absolutely. And it, it's, it's a big shame that um, because the globe society suppresses a lot of true information concerning absolutely. human human life, the, re the real experience of human life, a lot of people um, are led to walk through life blindly, learn from their experiences just, which they needn't do absolutely and end up end up living shit lives yeah. at the end of the day and when you really do think about it the globe society certainly does need to educate people on true love real absolutely. love real love yeah they absolutely. certainly do and because it's a, because people get taught all this bullshit about newton and rockets rockets and Gravity. Gravity and simultaneous equations. Right. Things that don't mean anything yeah, know, in yeah. anyone's life, life, really. It's understandable why so many people are looking for the very thing, the only thing that can make them truly happy. Absolutely. Absolutely, yeah. It's, and it's one big mess. I know, I know. It's yeah. just one big mess. Because a lot it's of it crazy. also, a lot of it. And, and, and sorry, just to, just to interject, or just to add, and that and that holds true now as what it did even two thousand years ago. Absolutely, human beings' behaviour, one little and emotions bit. have not changed one little bit. But, and this is because this is why you and me have gotten into flat Earth, and this is why that if everybody did come to know that the Earth is flat and they're Possibly as a dome, Absolutely. we would be more looking at ourselves. Absolutely, yeah. How we interact with one another. Yeah, absolutely. We'd we'd be learning about more about ourselves, our suffering. Absolutely, and why people have and pain. Why, and yeah, why people have pain and suffering, and you know how what we can do to get attain love in our lives. Loves. Yeah, and avoid but, all yeah. of the pain because and suffering. One of the things that you can do. And that's just be truthful to yourself. Absolutely, yeah. That that because I you, find if, that if you had two parents, if you had two parents that didn't truly love each other, weren't able to truly love their kids, there's no yeah. reason why they can't just say to their children, "Look, your mum and me, we don't truly love each yeah, other." Yeah. Well, to to be, as but, you <clears throat> you know, you have an opportunity. Yeah. Absolutely. I I'm going to be very open now. Go on. Then. Okay, and I will say. Um, um, that my parents never loved each other at all. Mm. They didn't truly or really love each other. Well, you're... My parents. Oh, they must be my parents as well. Oh, well, I, I believe oh, they yeah, are yeah. as well. Yeah, oh, of course. Well, yeah. Yeah. Oh, well maybe we should say our parents, parents yeah. didn't love each other one little bit. But absolutely. A lot of people get together with other people... For and the have, wrong reason. ...and have children. For the wrong reasons. reasons. Absolutely, yeah. Whether it's sex, whether it's a compensation relationship, yeah, whether, it's, whether it's money. Whether it's to piss off their mother or father. Absolutely. Whether, whether You know, for an enormous a variety of reasons other than the real reason that people should get together yeah, and have children. children. Absolutely. And, you know, it's a fact of life because one of the reasons that um, can justify, um, can prove that, and that is just go outside Look at the people in in society and see how unhappy they are. Yeah, because even if they're driving, even if they're driving a BMW. They are, yeah, they could be on a bus. They could be driving a BMW. They could be e even um, wearing this lovely robe on, you know, gold. They could be a Chelsea whatever. pensioner. They could be a Chelsea pensioner. They could be a nurse. They could be a doctor. They could be a judge. Could be a solicitor. Could be a, in the army. Could Sarah be Sarah Ferguson. 
could be Sarah Ferguson, could be could be anybody. And you look isn't at it, them, isn't it and very, 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 very few people are happy, truly happy. The majority are yeah, unhappy. I was talking with someone the other day. Um, oh, at, yeah. At the train station. Yeah, yeah. And I was more or less saying about, um, even if you look at the dysfunctionality within society. Yeah. You know, with family breakdown and all this. Lot, yeah. Then you think, well, just look at the royal family. Oh, absolutely, yeah. Even the royal you family know, are. Andrew, right. Charles and Anne. Yeah, yeah. All had divorces. All had divorces, absolutely. Wasn't about Charles. Um, so yeah, oh, I'm, I'm not sure. But anyway, they mm. all had breakdowns in their, in their relationships. relationships. Absolutely, yeah. You there's know, only been... you got Prince Andrew and Prince and uh, Sarah Ferguson. they got two daughters, Eugenie and Beatrice. They're both roughly in their 30s. I think so, yeah. They haven't even got children. I know, yeah. It's crazy, isn't it? It's, what's the point of them being alive? alive. Absolutely. You know, it, it, absolutely crazy. And people fail to realise that... You know, it's it's our relationships with other people that make us happy or unhappy. Happy. Absolutely. You know, if we if we mix around, get, get lie down with dogs, get up with fleas. Please. You know, Absolutely. I mean, obviously, if you're going to hang around the wrong people, you're going to be, you can be, you can be potentially unhappy. Or your life could be at risk. Your life could be at risk. <clears throat> you know, it's so important to have the right people in our lives. Because our, you know, our lives can potentially, excuse me, can potentially flourish, and we can enjoy life. We can, we can be express the, be in the Garden of Eden. Absolutely, of yeah. course, because all these biblical um, concepts, yeah, the Garden of Eden, only relates to what we're aware of. What we're aware of, absolutely, of course. Yeah, yeah. yeah I know. But yeah. it's how we perceive. Absolutely. What we're aware of. I mean, life is so, so simple. simple. Isn't Absolutely. It? Life yeah. is so, so simple. Um, it's not complicated. It's not complicated. And, you know, if you can, if you can prevent yourself from getting involved in all of this belief stuff and, um, asking, pondering over questions that are, where do we come that can from? never be answered. Where do we come from? Where are we going? Where are we going? Will they ever return? Turn. If you can get rid of all that shit from your from your mind and focus more on you as an individual the universe the you absolutely you, you'll find that your perceptions will start changing and you can start looking for love absolutely in your life and that's the only thing that will benefit well you can start look for <clears throat> real love real love absolutely. absolutely that's the only thing that will benefit your life absolutely yeah for all of your life that's the only thing. It wouldn't. It won't be a car. Won't, won't be, be a money. new house. Won't be money. Yeah. yeah. Won't be any of that but, stuff. Yeah. The only thing that can make people truly happy is love, real love, real love. Absolutely. So you know, I mean. But anyway, <laughs> on the on the because we're, so, just, so we're, just, about, we're just chatting, really. Yeah, we're, yeah, we're just we're just chatting because one thing I've one thing I've learned, and that is because over the past few months, I'm going to be open again. Cool. Over the past few months, oh, well, yeah. I, I've, I mean, I, I've kind of like, met, well, because, because you're in tune, with, because I'm in tune with because my your head is in tune with your heart. heart. Yeah, I, you know, I've met someone and she's really, yeah, absolutely, yeah, and she's really wow. gotten to me. Really, yeah, mm. I've, I've changed my routine. I, you know, I, 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 uh, my Stop heart that, feels yeah. Stop this, yeah. as if it's got heartburn all the time, wow. or a lot of the time. You know, I have to sigh. Like that a lot yeah. of the time. Wow. Mm. Just to ease the pressure and the tension. Yeah. I'm fearful. I feel fearful. You know, all of these emotions that are real, you know, I'm, I can't deny that they're happening. Yeah. Yeah. Which is true. I can't yeah. deny that. All of these, these emotions are all down to unrequited <clears throat> love. Because you can't express it. Absolutely. Now, some, now, a lot of people, now, this is where your perception comes into it. Now, the Globe Society tells people well people can have lots of things wrong with them they can have high blood pressure they can have stress stress <clears throat> they can have um what's that thing with the heart angina they oh, can right, get yeah. this they can get that they can get this they can get that and they can get blah 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 all of a lot of it is bollocks absolutely a lot of it is just rubbish because you'll find that when you're suffering from unrequited love and your heart's kind of like feels as if it's sore and it's pounding and yeah. it's 
I mean, just think the toll that's going to take in later life. So, you, so a lot of people who, <clears throat> a lot of people who go to the, who believe in this, believe in this globe society, who worship this globe society, yeah, they and to. a lot of flat earthers as well. They'll go to the doctors, Doctor, yeah, and they'll say, "Yeah, oh, something's wrong." Well, yeah, yeah, my uh, my chest it just feels tight, and my well. heart, and, you know, yeah, and well, I've, I've lost 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 my diet or well, my appetite's gone. Yeah. So what they do is they well, they Pete. run tests on you, and then they find out you've got angina or you've got they, oh, they want to or you've got something some, some kind of obsessive compulsive. No, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. The, the way the mindset is, is relating to your behaviour, yeah, of course. The, the way the mindset is for for doctors and the health system mm. is that if you go into a doctor's, yeah, and you're saying something's wrong with me, yeah, yeah, that makes them all think we've got to find something. We've got to find we've got something. To find that's something wrong with you. That's wrong with you. So yeah. we, we can put a name to it. <clears throat> so we can put a name to it. But essentially, the the real reason for <clears throat> or, the, or the real cause. Of a lot of people's um, illnesses, suffering. suffering is unrequited Quite love. Enough. Absolutely, and you know it doesn't matter what your doctor tells you. You know, well, okay, well, you, you've got angina, for example, you've got irregular heartbeats, yeah. or you've got you've got this, or stress because, because you can't. You've got insomnia. You can't you're sleep. An, very you're, well. you're anxious a lot. You've, of you've the time. got anxiety. Yeah, you've got anxiety. Well, just take some pills and tablets. Just do this. They they plug you with medicine and all of this bullshit. But it's not dealing with the cause. But it's not dealing with the cause of you having unrequited not love. Enough. Absolutely. You this is this is so important a level to be on perceptually. Mm. Because <clears throat> once you can be in tune with your feelings and know that there's really nothing wrong with you other than the fact that you just can't express Press love. love. Absolutely, yeah. Once you realise that. And receive it. And receive and have that received, received. obviously. Um, yeah. Um, once you realise that, you're, you're more in a position to be able to deal with it properly yourself and rectify the problem. Yeah, because I've always found if if you as an individual don't know what's wrong with get you, get rid of the causes and the effects will go. Kind of thing, kind of logic. Well, well, the logic, kind of my logic. logic. Like if you had, if you were, if you were, if you were wearing ill-fitting shoes, yeah, yeah, and your feet started getting sore, yeah. Oh yeah, but you'd stop sure. wearing them. Yeah, but you've got to know what the prob what you've got to know what the problem is. Yeah, but if you accept with. it. That it's unrequited love. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. If you accept that, You can do something about it. You can then do something about Absolutely. it. Absolutely. But if you're told you've got angina, what can you do about it? What are you going to do about it? it? Oh, well, I've been to the docks and he's told me I've got angina. Oh, well, I think I'll oh, go... Oh, what? Okay. I'll I know go. I've been married for 30 years and I don't really love my wife, but I've got angina. You know, whereas that person could have gone to the docks. Think... Oh, that person could have thought to himself, oh, I'm getting some... Palpitations, or I'm getting this, or whatever. Yeah, I know, yeah. And I've, it's something quite love. Oh, I don't love my wife, do I? Oh, right, okay. I need to do something about, about it. it. Yeah. Otherwise, yeah, my heart's going to break. A lot of people don't <clears throat> think about love. Absolutely. Love is a very big part even, even of the though equation. It, even, even though it's used flagrantly. Flagrantly, absolutely. People don't know. And I was told, I was told an awful long time ago. And how much, how much power, <clears throat> the power of love as well. The power of love, it, the, love, Oof. yeah. Well, Oof. well, to be honest with you, the other night, the other night I oh, felt right. I was, I was sighing so much that I felt I had to lie down. Really? Yeah. Wow. yeah. And I was <sighs> breathing in mm. so deeply. I tell you, it was amazing, amazing mm. feeling, but. Um, just felt the need to do that, you yeah. know. Yeah, but yeah. one one thing a lot of people fail to realise, or fail to even uh, come to know, because very few people tell them, and that is you can actually die from a broken heart. Absolutely. A lot of people do die from a broken, broken heart. heart. Yeah. Yeah, but they won't put broken uh, d cause of death, broken heart. And so one one of the stories that would. Um, um, support that is R.D. Lang when he because he ended up having a heart attack when he was, he was playing, playing tennis, tennis. Yeah. and I think to myself 
But what is a heart attack? <clears throat> yeah, well, the yeah, heart is absolutely. a muscle. Absolutely, yeah. You know, basically. And if your heart has been aching for so long, there's pressure, there's tension already yeah, no, yeah. being placed on that heart. It can easily just stop. Mm. Just stop. Well, it's, uh, another, and give up. Another, and then you, you collapse. Another but, another example is uh, people... So heart be, disease. Yeah, another example. Um, some A lot of people may mm. not be familiar, but the Duke of Westminster, yeah. Gerald. Oh, Gerald. Who died oh, last Gerald, yeah. year. Who's just happened to die... On his shooting estate. On his shooting estate. At the age of 60, <coughs> 67, I think. Absolutely. Yeah, now I'll, 67. Yeah, I don't want to, don't want to oh, go right, into, sure. I don't want to go into it. I was going to get a photo. He died, but he was, he's one of the wealthiest men in the country. Absolutely, a yeah. Billionaire. Yeah, because you. And he died at 67. 67, which is pretty young age. And he died. He had, a, he, he had all of the best food that the world could probably He had everything at his finger, fingertips. Yeah, absolutely. So, But he wasn't happy inside. Absolutely, because you and I both think he actually committed suicide. Yeah, I, I personally reckon. Because wasn't it strange how he was found like in need of help or dead or whatever on his shooting, shooting range? range? Yeah, yeah. At his shooting estate. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. Which anyway. Was, you know, which is very odd. But anyway, all we're saying is that uh, real love... Real love. Can does cause a lot of the illnesses ailments in human beings. Absolutely, which then affects your homeostatic levels. Absolutely, which affects your homeostatic levels. Absolutely, yeah. But moving on, moving on, moving on to another little. Moving thing. on. Okay, yes, now, moving on. You and I have both come to the conclusion. Yeah. Because this is all the idea of the the look of love. Yeah. The look of, of love. love. It's the look. And that is you and me, <coughs> yeah, yeah, both um, agree yeah. that there is this uh, thing called mutuality. Mutuality, yes, Between of people. Absolutely, mutuality between people. Some people might say it was called <coughs> quantum entanglement. Oh, now... now you know, it's if you're a quantum physicist. Yeah, when you, when, you start, when you start looking at science and a lot of the ideas that are in science, like quantum entanglement, you begin to realise that they, they do actually apply to real life. To real life, yeah, absolutely. Because when we get back to our mutuality, what we mean by that, and that is you could be, you could walk into a shop and get served by some uh, person, and straight away you, you think they're, they're really wonderful, you really like them. Yeah. Oh, she, oh, she seems quite cheerful. Yeah, she's lovely. She's, 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 yeah, she's, she's a lovely girl. Cheerful. Absolutely. Now, that person <clears throat> will think the same way about you. Absolutely. They will think you are a lovely, wonderful person. Absolutely, yeah. Because there's a mu mutuality. Well, you could go down the road, you can walk down the street, and you can see this guy walking towards you, and you think, oh, I don't like him. Absolutely, there's yeah. something about him I just dislike. Yeah. Him. And he's thinking exactly the same, same about, about you. you. There, there's something about you that... They, they don't like, yeah. absolutely. Or you could see a woman walking down the street and she's got nice breasts and you think, oh, yeah, she's got nice breasts. Yes. And she's actually, if she, if she notices you, of course, but... Um, yeah, because it's, all, it's to, all in the look, isn't it? It's all in the look of it's love, absolutely. It's all in absolutely. the look. Um, or in the look. But she, she could look at you or she's likely to look at you and think there's something nice about you, whether absolutely, she's jest yeah. or whether, I don't know, the way you look, or, or your or wart, your wart on the end of your nose, and it's just the same. It's just the same. Yeah, it's just like the wart on the end of my nose. Yeah, yeah. You know, I mean, it's getting bigger every day. But we, 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 it's also about lost as well. You know, if you if you uh, walk into say another shop, um, obviously I do a lot of shopping. Um, if you walk into another shop, or well, this actually happened to me a long time ago when I was in um, Altrincham of all places. Oh, uh -huh. I went into a kind of like a department store. And I walked down the steps and there was this girl um, or woman behind a counter just standing there. And I looked at her and I, I instantly felt lustful attraction to her. Yeah. Instantly. Yeah. And then all of a sudden she kind of like walked away, you know, as if to run away from it. Yeah, because she could sense it. Because well. she could sense it as well. Oh, yeah. And she knows that lustful kind of like, um, lost, well, lust is a sin. Absolutely, deadly yeah. sin yeah. because you end up in bed. You could have a child born, and you yeah, all blah, thought, blah, blah, yeah. do you know what I mean? Blah blah blah. But um, so it's all about a mu there is a mutuality. I had a, I had a, yeah, I had a. I went was on a bus 
So if you yeah. truly love someone... I went, I went on a bus. Sorry. Go on. If you truly love someone, you can be rest it's assured short. that even if they don't tell you, they will truly love you. you. Absolutely. That's if you obviously are aware of true love. And, and, your, the, and your brain is connected to your and heart. And your brain is connected to your heart, absolutely. Yeah, yeah I was in Manchester and I got on a bus and... Uh, oh, yeah. And this, uh, this black, I'm sure she was black African woman oh, sat, yeah, yeah. sat next to me. Yeah. She had long fingernails. Oh, know, right, like, okay, yeah. Kind of curly. What, like uh, about 10 inches long, long kind of yeah, thing, yeah. yeah. Well, I've got to admit, I did, that was a very strong feeling of lust. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know. It's a very, emotions are very powerful. I didn't just feel it. Yeah, yeah. Um, I felt it physically. And yet she was on the bus and you was on the pavement. No, I was on the bus. Oh, you was on she the bus. She sat next to me. Oh, she sat next to you. Yeah, oh, right, okay. Very strong. Oh, you could well, you could have put your hand on her thigh, couldn't you? Given it. Could have, well, given it was that strong. It was that strong. You felt like saying to her, just to, to fancy going into a park, getting off and going into. Absolutely, yeah, you fancy a park. You know what I mean? Yeah, basically. Yeah, but I, you know, I'm, I, I'm not into that kind of stuff. Absolutely, yeah, neither am I. But I, it's nice to experience I mean, those. Absolutely, it, because you need to be aware of how you. Well, feel. this is life. Yeah, I know. Yeah, life is all about the, in, the interaction of emotions between With yourself people. and other people. people. Absolutely, that is what life is all about. And it's so important to be on the ball with the emotions that you experience yourself on a day-to-day -day basis and the emotions that you share yeah, with other people. people. Absolutely. Because your emotions do change when you're in the, when you're in the company of other, other people. people. Absolutely. You know, other people, like I say, other people can change our emotions. Mm. It's other people who, who can, can make us happy. Who can make us happy? It's other people who can make, make us sad. sad. Mm. You know, I mean, a lot. Of, some people may disagree. Some people may think, well, you know, you can. People find their own ha happiness. But you can find your own happiness in Jesus. Find love in Jesus. That is a load of bollocks. Well, if, if they're using a word that's confused. They're using. Well, put it this way: when you think about it know. logically, let's say. How can you find love in in? Uh, if you can, if people can genuinely be happy, find happiness within themselves, why is it a lot of people, when you go out in your front door, you walk around, they're miserable? That's because it's a load of bollocks. Because it's a load of bullshit. Bollocks, bollocks, it's yeah. other people who make you happy, who can make you happy and make, make you, you unhappy. unhappy. Absolutely. And not having people in our lives, certain people, significant others, I should say can make because us unhappy, unhappy because Absolutely. we end up um, suffering unrequited Quite love. love. Absolutely. It, it's so simple. So, so simple. Absolutely. So simple to look at. And, you know, when you, when you <sighs> reach that level of understanding, Standard. you've cracked it. Yeah, I know, yeah. You've cracked <clears throat> a lot. You've got no questions about anything. You're not worried about um, what happens to you. Because this is worsening it, and that, that is because because I I mean I'm not religious, but I tend to think that nobody has, um, nobody can freely choose anything in their life. Mm. You know, we don't we cannot choose who we truly love, how who we fall, fall truly in love with. We we cannot do. Well, that. you can't choose who you're going to meet tomorrow. So oh yeah, I'd, uh, excuse me. You know, sh do, you're, you're saying you're the shopkeeper. Okay. All right. Bling, bling. <clears throat> Oh yeah, hi, yeah. Um, Hello. I'd, I'd like a woman, please. A woman, uh, right, okay. Um, any particular well, size and shape? Well, I've been watching a lot of TV lately, you know. Oh, they're, they're, you know, I like the ones that are nice oh, shapes, let me just write this you know. Down. Nice curvy. Curvy. Big, big lumps at the front, big you know what I mean? Big boobies, yeah. you know. And a nice big arse, do you know big what I mean? Arse, yeah. yeah. And I'd like... Plump. plump. Well, yeah, plump. plump. Yeah, or that's chubby. right. Plump and I'd chubby. like... I'd like... Chubby. Chubby, yeah, chubby, chubby, chubby yeah, not plump, yeah, not plump, chubby, right. yeah, chubby, chubby. Uh, I'd like one with blonde hair, blonde hair, blonde is that hair. dyed or is that um, natural? Well, well, I, I think natural, Bleach yeah, blonde. Well, natural. Let's go for natural, natural, natural yeah, natural blonde. And, um, eye colour, you got eye colour, eye colour, blue, blue eyes, blue eye colour, okay. and height. Let's go for now. Right. I'm, I'm about that eye, so let's go five foot. Six. Five foot seven. Oh, that's a nice height. Okay, now. Nice height. Okay. Okay. When can I pick her up? Okay. Uh, 
It reminds me of the... Yeah, it's, it's a load of bollocks. It reminds you know what me I mean? of the film Carry On Loving. You know, let me just put this information into our computer. Oh, the introductory agency. Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. Let me yeah. put it into our computer and see what comes up. See what comes up. Oh, look. Oh, look, you've got a match. You've got a match. But you, you, it's, it's all rubbish. But all it's of only that. a match based on... The information uh, you've the given. The information you've given. Absolutely. It's got <laughs> nothing whatsoever to do with how oh. you feel. Nobody can choose who they fall in love with. Nobody. Nobody. Absolutely. Nobody can choose who they meet. Absolutely. Um, nobody can choose um, anything about their lives whatsoever. Absolutely. Uh, some great examples. So nobody chooses happens. to get cancer. Oh, you're right there. Yeah. Have you got one? Uh, nobody chooses to um, win the lottery. Nobody chooses to win the lottery, yeah, of course. The jackpot, right? The jackpot on the lottery. Um, nobody chooses to um, have a poo because no. it's something they've got to do. Nobody chooses that their children die before them. Um, nobody chooses to have a car accident and uh, um, become disabled as a result of it. Nobody chooses to uh, talk a load of shit. Absolutely, of course, yeah. And throughout the whole thing, you get to, you get to realise that people don't get a choice in anything. Absolutely. No, none, none of us do. None of us do. Things happen because they happen. Well, it's a consequence of space-time. Oh, it's a consequence of space-time. Space Where's, where's Ike? Is he around the corner? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, it's a consequence <clears throat> of space time when the gravitational pull of the Earth comes round and then it comes out. Yeah. Old Ike. It's all, it's all old, I, old Ike, baby, is still in his grave. All I can say is, that, and that is, when you look at the globe Earth and all that bollocks, at the end of the day, it's diversionary therapy. therapy. Absolutely, yeah. That's all it is. It's diversionary therapy. therapy yeah. Because it takes people's minds, takes a lot of people's minds off the problems. Absolutely. Off their unrequited love problems. Off the, uh, off the fact that they're looking for real love. Absolutely, yeah. Because everybody, everybody, if they haven't got it, <clears throat> is looking for love. For real love. Real love, true love. Absolutely. Everybody. Everybody's looking for it. And I don't care what people say. I don't care, you know, I'm not bothered about what people think you know you know everyone's entitled to their own views but at the end of the day i know that's a fact that is true whether yeah. they're looking for it online whether they're looking for it on in work. dating sites in dates at work whether they're looking for it when they go out in the evening times with friends whether they're going out shopping whether, whether when they're, they're walking their dog when they're walking their dog whether they're doing anything if people haven't got love true love in their lives they are looking for it actively yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, and it's so the message is clear, isn't it, really, after this? The message is clear in that the earth is flat. The earth is flat. And every human being on the plane, on the plane, is, if they haven't got it, if they haven't got it, they're all looking, looking for love. For real love. Real love. And if they haven't got it, they are despairing for it. Absolutely, yeah. They are suffering from unrequited love. love. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, you know, um, I hope this, uh, I suppose, I hope this has helped quite a few people. I hope, well, so I I hope remember, some people remember, find it interesting. Remember the mutuality, because that is, in, that is, I reckon that is a fact. Uh, so do I, yeah, of course. I can't prove it, but I can give you an example. Absolutely. We can, I can give you an example right now. Go on then, quickly. And that is one of our non-subscribers. Yeah, yeah. Phil Reynolds. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. What you, yeah. Pete, yeah, yeah. think about him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He thinks exactly the same, same way about, about me. you. Even though you're a flat earther and he's a globe trotter. Yeah, now, Phil Reynolds. You think <clears throat> the same. Yeah, Phil Reynolds. I, to be honest with you, I actually kind of like the guy. Yeah. You know, I've but seen, he, I've read some of his texts and his a lot yeah, of his answers and his comments you. and stuff. And I have to say, I do like the but guy. But he likes you. But the, yeah, I know. Yeah, mutualities. Though. That's why he comes on on the site and leaves lots of comments because he enjoys the banter. He probably watches quite a few of the videos and he enjoys them. Yeah. So the 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 message really is when people are out and about, absolutely, 
be more mindful mindful about absolutely. the thoughts that come into their head absolutely about the people they, they meet. meet absolutely yeah that's all it's about yeah that's all it's about i know it's because that will and help how you. they feel and how yeah. because that will help them find real love absolutely yeah i mean it's you so get simple. the look get the look get the look of love that's the look that's the look the look of love that's the look yippee yippee yay We've all loved the look you for of love. love. Look, look of love. Anyway, thanks ever so much, Peter, for your presence. It's, oh, been, it's been wonderful. A it's been a pleasure as always. And can I say thank you ever so much again to um, new new subscribers as well? Our subscribers have gone up slightly, yeah, but it's nice. Uh, to slightly, it's, it, well, that's about the. That's about. The, that means we've got to work. Or, you that's, know, that's got, about the only thing that's going up. Oh yeah, of course. Well, I'm still waiting for my light to turn green. Well, well, it's on red at the moment, but I'm waiting but for, it, for the light. amber light. Yeah, yeah, the traffic light. The turning. amber light to come on and then to turn green. It will turn green. It will turn green. <sighs> yeah. anyway, anyway, thanks ever so much. And always remember, if something doesn't make sense, like love, because it's ill-defined. Oh, 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 yeah. oh, oh. And you, really, people should be looking for true yeah, love, real love, real love. Yeah. And gravity, because that's all defined as well. Well, what's gravity? Well, it's a well, consequence gravity, of space time, isn't it? Gravity just gets you down. Absolutely. That's, gravity, yeah. that's why yeah. the globe Earth is a load of bollocks. Absolutely. Because they use stupid terms that uh, relate to the to negative yeah, yeah. side of human life. I know, yeah. It's, it's bollocks. The globe bollocks. Earth is absolutely bollocks. bollocks. Absolutely. And what else do we talk about? I don't know. Which one? Well, don't you know? I can't remember. Right, okay, yeah, that's fine. That's about it. So, yeah, so, um, till next, always remember. remember. It's, it's nonsense. nonsense. Absolutely. Cheers, MP. Bye. ta -da. The Earth isn't round, it's flat. How do you know? I've observed it in all my travels over Europe. It's flat. Everywhere it's flat.